hedge funds move global capital across different assets in different currencies in different markets. They watch stock prices, commodity prices, foreign exchange rates closely in deal in all these assets, keeping a close tab on macroeconomic events across countries to see how prices would influence assets. Therefore, hedge funds are expected to outperform all other funds. And for this outperformance, they charge FT fees. Hello everybody and welcome to this YouTube video to explain to you how hedge fund fees are charged. I have already uploaded two videos on hedge funds. The first video is a generic overview of hedge funds. The second uh, video was on the structure of the hedge funds with a specific focus on the master feeder structure and this video is on the hedge fund fees. The hedge fund activities revolve around investors pooling their money and investing in the hedge fund, right? These investors are typically ultra high net worth individuals, sports celebrities, film stars, unicorn founders, etc. And they invest in the hedge fund. The hedge fund pools this money, creates a large corpus and the hedge fund then invests in different assets, in multiple currencies, across different markets. The nature of the activities of the hedge fund are fairly risky because they play along both the macroeconomic as well as the microeconomic aspects of the asset performance. So for this risky kind of activity that hedge funds indulge in, they expect to be paid very hefty fees. The investors who have pooled the money and contributed to the hedge fund will typically pay these fees to the hedge fund. The hedge fund charges fees across different parameters and today we are going to take a look at two of these parameters. The first parameter is the management fees. And the second parameter is the performance fees. The reason why investors invest in hedge funds is to get performance. Okay, is to get not just performance but to get outperformance. The hedge funds are run by extremely smart and savvy fund managers who are able to quickly move capital across assets, who have a great knack at interpreting data. And therefore, for all this, they charge fees. Let's take a look at what are management fees. Management fees are charged by the hedge fund annually to cover the operating costs. So typically if the investor is invested in the fund for a period of five years, the management fees is charged every year by the hedge fund. Most hedge funds uh, in the last year of 2021 were typically charging management fees of 2%. So let's say, for example, an investor has invested $100,000 into a hedge fund. How do we calculate the management fees that the investor has to pay to the hedge fund? The investment is $100,000. The management fee is 2% per annum. Per annum implies that it has to be paid every year. So $100,000 multiplied by 2%, the management fees is now $2,000. Okay, so the investor has invested $100,000. The hedge fund has already collected upfront $2,000. Is that clear? So when the investor is making the investment, at that point of time itself, the management fee is collected. With an investment of $100,000, the management fee being $2,000, what is left for the hedge fund to invest? 
the hedge fund can now invest the remaining amount of money that is hundred thousand dollars minus management fees of two thousand dollars that gives us an investable surplus of ninety eight thousand dollars okay this is how the management fees are calculated the fund has received hundred thousand dollars minus the management fee of two thousand dollars that leaves the fund with an investable surplus of $98,000. Now let's take a look at the next aspect of fees that is the performance fees. Let's say this fund is a complete outperformer, okay, and it has doubled in value, which is very, very rare, okay. Even though hedge funds give some astonishing returns during some points of time, it is very rare for a hedge fund to double in one year. But let's say for purposes of our video, the end of the year, the portfolio has increased to $200,000. The investor himself cannot believe it, that the fund value has doubled. Obviously, it's not just a performance. It's not even an outperformance. It's a superstar performance, right? It's like a blockbuster hedge fund. Anyways, the profit that the fund has made is $100,000. That means initial investment was $100,000. At the end of the year, the portfolio has increased to $200,000. $200,000 minus $100,000 gives us a profit of $100,000. The performance fees is 20% of $100,000. Okay, so that's $100,000 multiplied by 20%. This is the performance fees. Please note, in this slide, I have not mentioned at all per annum. So unlike management fees, which are collected on an annual basis, as long as the investor is invested in the hedge fund, performance fees depends upon multiple factors and therefore is not an annual payment made by the investor into the fund. In this case, the performance fees is $20,000. So then, what happens in the next year if the performance has been below the mark? For this purpose, let us calculate the fund value now. Management fees is $2,000. Performance fees is $20,000. Total fees that is paid is $22,000. Am I right? Okay, we've understood this now. Now let us go to what is the gross fund value. The gross fund value was $200,000. Less the fees paid which is $22,000. That leaves the investor with a net fund value of $178,000. $1,78,000. This is how the fund values are calculated. We take into consideration the gross value after the fees that are paid. What is the net amount that remains after payment of fees is the net fund value. I just told you that performance fees are not to be paid every year. Then when do they have to be paid? Therefore, all hedge funds have introduced the concept of high watermark in order to calculate the fees of performance to be paid by the investor. They tabulate what is the highest level in the value of the fund which was ever reached. Okay. This is the demarcation point. In determining the performance fees. Only if the hedge fund surpasses this, crosses this, will the performance fees have to be paid. Every time there is an underperformance by the hedge fund, not visa is the benchmark, but visa is the high watermark, then they do not have to pay the performance fees. This way, investors need not repeatedly pay performance fees because they will end up paying very high performance fees even during years when 
performance has been poor. Okay. Like in our example here, I have taken a very extreme case, 100% return. Right. What happens in the next year if there is only a 10% return? Does the fund manager still get performance fees? No. He will not get the performance fees in the year of underperformance because the high water mark is not yet touched. So the high water mark is the demarcation point in determining the performance fees. Therefore, the investor pays a fees that only covers the amount that the fund has earned between the entry point and the highest level. This is very important to understand that performance fees are not charged annually, management fees are charged annually and for performance fees to be paid, we have to calculate what is the outperformance vis-a-vis the high water mark. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I am your learning partner Sushila Hariharan with over 10,000 training hours. I bring to you my domain expertise on the topics of OTC derivatives, global investment banking operations, fund accounting and custodian operations. Thank you very much.